Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today, let me scoot back some, <laughs> we are going to be doing something, I don't know, new for me, fun for me. Uh, we are going to be doing book rec recommendations based off of my candles. Some of you don't know, I am, hi, my name is India once again. I am a booktuber, book content creator, but I also own a small business called Page Turning Products, which features um, candles, room sprays, reed diffusers, wax melts, and all of them are bookish related without them being focused on specific books. So make sure to check out that down below. So like I said, my name is India and I'm a small business owner. Ah, sometimes that's really terrifying to say, like you don't really believe you're a small business owner some days. You're like, oh no, I just like make candles and like I sell them. I mean, I have to do everything else to the, the taxes, the inventory, the supplies, you know, the promotion, the, all of that. Anyway, so let's get started. I always forget to do this. Okay, so let's see. First, I definitely need some coffee. It's early. I don't really do mornings. I even, I mean, I have to be at my job at seven in the morning and I am not that person. And I just have to be there at seven in the morning. Anyway, so first up, or for today's video, I'm gonna do one candle per video, okay? Just to keep the book recommendations um, short. Um, and kind of keep the videos in a manageable time. So these recommendations are from 2022. Um, I am going to go through and do new ones for 2023. Um, I did just put up my favorite books video um, of 2022. So just check that out as well. First up, this is the 8 ounce candle. It is in this beautiful, beautiful, I know, look at you, darling. This beautiful, beautiful ceramic jar, purple ceramic jar. Peep the library labels. Yeah, you know it. You know it. Beautiful. Made with wooden wicks in them. Just one more chapter. Features scents like peppermint and eucalyptus and cedarwood. It is that great energizing but calming fragrance. So... Just one more chapter for those books. I chose a category of books that I just couldn't put down. So here we go. Books I couldn't put down. Flock by Kate Stewart. Mm, I know I talked about this in my favorite books of 2022. Um, it is steamy. It is good. It is romance. Mm -hmm. um, the other one, That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Demon by Kimberly Lemming. Um, it is romance. It's silly. It's funny. It's fan. It's fantasy and it was just really fun to read and it was fun to read <laughs> um the initiation by nikki sloan i might have actually read this one in 2021 i don't remember but it is good and it was definitely a series i couldn't put down um the fact that i can remember these things because you guys know i'm very much oh let me look what my good read said because i don't know um <laughs> means that i definitely really enjoyed these books and i couldn't put it down this one is a romance i'm not gonna say it's dark romance but it does have an edgy feel to it. It's edgy, but it's also secret society, you know, rich people with their secrets and their problems. Okay. Um, the next one up is Legendborn by Tracy Dion. Another one of those books that I have that I could do the whole physical copy. But it's downstairs in my Black Author bookshelf. Um, this one is a... King Arthur reimagining or yeah reimagining not a retelling um because sometimes y'all get really hung up on the words reimagining and retelling um <laughs> but it's reimagining and it is fantasy and it's written by a black author and it's super good and as the King Arthur y'all remember when the movie King Arthur came out a long time ago like the old one mm, that was one of my favorites I could rewatch that all the time don't ask me why don't ask me why anyway and then the final one on this list is house of earth and blood by sarah j mass um i still don't know why sarah j mass has me and a lot of the world in such a chokehold like but but she does she does i don't know if there's like a problem with me um there probably is but 
it is what it is, you know? Um, yeah, it definitely is what it is. <laughs> but House of Earth and Blood is the adult, it's the adult book she put out, or new adult. Does she consider it an adult? You know, new adult. Um, it is the Crescent Cities series, and it's the first book in that series, and... It is, of course, fantasy because it's Sarah J. Maas. This one is romance, but somehow still not as steamy as um, Akhtar, or not Akhtar, the second one. Um, a, a, a Court of Mist and Fury. I'm, of course, Mist and... No. Yeah, A Court of Mist and Math. Yeah, I did that right. I did that right. Um, it's not as steamy as that one, which was really surprising how, like, not steamy that was for her new adult, her actually targeted as adult romance series. Versus the young adult romance that everyone was like, uh, they should have been new adult or adult. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was surprising. But the book itself, I couldn't put down. I cried a lot into it. So there's that. Also another one I have a physical copy of that I don't have with these bookshelves. Because I haven't stood in front of my lovely purple bookshelves in a long time. And I really wanted to do that. Um, so, and then plus they're in my candle studio. So it was easier for me. Anyway, I'm just babbling at this point because that's what I do. Um, that is it for me today. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow all of my social media. Don't forget to hit that like button. And please go check out my candles. We do ship internationally all around the world. Um, it's free shipping above $50. Um, for domestic Canada and Mexico, I want to say. Um, I should know my own stuff, shouldn't I? Um, <laughs> follow those social medias as well. Once again, that's Page Turning Products. It's the same on Instagram and all of that good stuff. Um, and of course, I'm also on Etsy as well. Um, I don't have nearly as much selection on Etsy as I do on my website. Um, but I am on Etsy, Etsy for those who feel safer shopping through Etsy, even though Etsy isn't safer for the for the seller. <laughs> anyway, that's it for me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, like I said. And until next time, keep turning the pages.